Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum dan selamat sejahtera uh, kepada semua. Okay, for this week, uh, kita akan go through the topic about uh, related to information security policy and standard. So, under this topic, there are a few subtopic that we are going to go through related to the policy, uh, related to the standard, about the practices, about the guidelines and also about the information security uh, standard. Okay, for this uh, topic, the learning objective is to define the information security policy and understand its central role in a successful information security program. It is also to recognize the three major types of information security policy and know what goes into type uh, into each type. And uh, we are also need to know about to develop, implement, and maintain various types of information security uh, policy. So as for the introduction, okay, I hope that everyone can see this one. As for the introduction. The success of any uh, information security program lies in policy department. Uh, sorry, policy development. And this policy is the essential foundation of an effective information security program. The centrality of information security policy to virtual everything that happens in the information security field and also an effective information security training and awareness effort cannot be initiated without writing information security uh, policy. So the success of an information resources protection program depends on the policy generated by an organization and on the attitude of a management towards securing information on automated system. It depends on these two. Number one is policy generated, and second is about the attitude of the management uh, on how serious they want to secure the information and data. So you, the policy maker, set the tone and emphasize on how important a role information security will have within your agency or organization. So your primary responsibility is to set the information resource security policy for the organization within the objective of reduce uh, risk, compliance with laws and also regulation, and insurance of operational continuity, uh, information integrity, and also coefficient. Okay. So what are policy and standard? So policy is a cause or principle of action adopted or proposed by an organization or individual. So this policy is a deliberate system of principle to guide decision and achieve a rational outcome. This one is set up by uh, organization itself. Manakala standard is a required or a great level of quality or entertainment. So an information security policy sets forth rules and processes for workforce members. You're creating a standard around the acceptable use of the organization of information technology, including network and also application to protect data, coefficient uh, coefficient uh, or coefficientality, integrity, and also the availability. So, how is security standard is different from policy? Uh, dekat sini, you have to look that these information security policy are high level business rules, uh, defining what the organization will do to protect the information. Uh, manakala the standard are more detailed statement about how the organization will implement the written policy. Standard normally provide more detailed requirement for how a policy must be implemented. So basic rules in shaping a policy, number one is policy, policy should never conflict with law. 
policy ni you kena buat dia uh, kata yang di set up by an organisation uh, tidak ada konflik dengan law. Contohnya macam sekarang ni uh, saya bagi uh, simple example uh, if you have to wear mask that is the SOP, that is the policy then you have to wear the mask. So policy must be able to stand up in court if challenge. Sekiranya uh, kata ada berlaku sesuatu yang uh, against the uh, law jadi polisi tu boleh digunakan di okay? um, kata di, di mahkamah dan sebagainya so policy must be properly supported and also administered for example encourage the business practices and misreporting the financial reports um, uh, financial records so this policy of shredding working papers by accounting by accountants. So that is all kata part of the um, basic rules in policy. So why this policy? Kenapa uh, an organization need the policy? So uh, a quality information security program begins and ends with policy. Although information security policies are the least expensive means of control to execute, they are often the most difficult to implement. So policy also control costs only the time and effort that the management team spends to create, approve and also communicate. Uh, communicate. So and the employees spend integrating the policy into their daily activities. So cost of hiring a consultant is minimal compared to technical uh, control. So this is the guideline for IT policy. All policy must contribute to the success of the organization. Uh, tak ada any policy yang dibuat untuk um, orang kata the, the yang, yang against the the company or organization. Dia have to support the uh, success of the organization. And then the management must ensure the educate a sharing of responsibility for proper use of information system. Yang kita discuss ni ialah berkaitan dengan polisi yang digunakan ber, berkaitan dengan information uh, system ataupun since our topic is related to the information security policy and standard. And then end user of information system should be involved in the steps of policy formulation. You kena mengambil kira uh, keperluan, pengetahuan dan juga uh, other things yang uh, memberi uh, manfaat dan sebaliknya kepada the end user iaitu orang ketiga ataupun pengguna yang menggunakan information system tersebut. <coughs> This is the guideline for IT policy. Okay. Um, Here with I attach the IT policy frameworks where under this framework we can see there is a law. Uh, constitution, federal, state law, liability and then beside that, beside the law, other element yang ada dalam IT policy framework must have a value. Okay. Dia punya nilai perlu ada dalam IT policy. And morality and also ethic. These four elements or four dimension is uh, kind of must for you if you would like to develop the IT policy. And then types of uh, security policy. Okay, types of security policy. Uh, kat sini, the normal one yang you boleh lihat, we need the password policy, kita need the administration, administrative uh, responsibility, contohnya uh, user responsibility, email policies, internet policy, and then we do have the backup and restore the policy, we need the technology to secure IT infra, firewall, audit, auditing, system policy, IT admin uh, policy. Because sometimes people are confused between the policy and standard. Kenapa there is a confusion between the policy and standard? Normally policy, a cause or principle of uh, action adopted or proposed by an organization or individual. A policy is deliberate system of principle to guide decision and achieve rational outcome. Manakala standard, a required 
or agreed level of quality and entertainment. Okay. Who should involve in this uh, information security policy? Uh, normally, uh, orang kata dalam uh, in our way to uh, set up to develop the policy, you have to look surround the organization. Uh, so normally, the there are few elements such as purpose. You must have the purpose why is you need to set the policy. You need to have the audience. You need to have the user who are using that um, the, the information security system. And then you need the, the objectives of the policies, the authority and access control of the policy, the data classification, the data support and operation security awareness and also behavior responsibility and so on so all these must be included jadi this information security policy actually is a set of rules and guideline that dictate how it assets and resources should be used managed and also protected it applies to all user in an organization or its net uh, work as well as all digitally uh, stored information under its authority. So here with, uh, there are also beside this IT policy framework, uh, here are the lagi policy model yang saya attach. Uh, we have the bull's eyes model, uh, proven mechanism for prioritizing complex changes, issues uh, addressed by moving from general to specific, focus of system solution instead of individual problems. Okay, uh, for your information, as an academic or researcher, uh, there are previous research, research done. So normally, dalam setiap research ni, akan ada model yang being adopt ataupun adapt by the researcher, the current researcher dan sebagainya. So from that model, uh, itu yang wujudnya dia punya faktor dia, element dia, dimensi dia. Jadi apabila new research being study, mereka akan mengguna pakai uh, the models that proven, uh, kata proven um, support uh, to towards this all setup of information security, policy dan juga standard. So under this bull's eye model, Kita ada kat sini dia punya dimension, we have the policy, kita ada networks, kita ada system, kita ada application. Okay, policy actually the out layer in the bull's eyes diagram. Networks, the place where threats from public networks meet the organization networking infrastructure. So in the past, most information security efforts have focused on network. And until recently, information security was often uh, thought to be uh, synonymous, synonymous within uh, network security. Manakala system, dia berada pada third layer. So this system actually is the computer used as server. Uh, as the desktop computers and system used for process control and also manufacturing system. Application, all application system ranging from uh, pack application such as office automation and email programs to high and ER packages and also custom application software developed by the organization. Okay. Uh, mereka pun ada Charles Christian Woods needs for policy. Policy are important. Reference document for internal audits. Policy ini juga diguna pakai apabila audits dilakukan. So, it is important secara internal and also external. Then, uh, okay, apa? Uh, in, and it is also become the resolution of legal dispute about the management due diligence. And policy document can act as a clear statement to support the backup of the management uh, intent. Okay, kita boleh lihat dekat situ apa dia punya intention, apa dia punya objective, all being stated under the policy standard and also practices. So policy actually uh, represent the formal statement of the organization managerial policy. In case of our focus, the organization information security policy, a philosophy, Tradition com communities of interest use policy to express their view 
which they becomes the basis of planning, uh, management, and also maintenance of the information security profile. This policy is actually the set of rule to dictate the acceptable and unacceptable behavior uh, yang boleh dilakukan uh, within the organization. Okay, uh, the kind of rules lah sebenarnya yang sama ada kita boleh lakukan atau kita tak boleh lakukan. Tapi it is based on the policy and standard yang ditetapkan. Okay. So, policy should not specify the proper operation of equipment or software. Jadi, policy must specifically, uh, must specify the penalty for unacceptable behavior. Contohnya, um, say for example, you uh, dah melanggar uh, certain policy yang ditetapkan, melanggar certain rules yang ditetapkan. So, you might be penalty by the fine dan sebagainya. Okay. So, to execute the policy, the organization must implement a set of standards that clarify and define exactly what is in, uh, inappropriate in the workplace and to what degree the organization will stop to add the inappropriate behavior. Uh, standard, more detailed statement of what must be done to comply with the policy. Uh, dia, dia orang kata dia mengandungi info yang lebih uh, detail dan lebih lanjut. And then technical control and their associate procedures might be established uh, such that the network blocks access to uh, pornography website dan sebagainya. Itu contoh dia. So policy standard and practice kalau bu, kalau you boleh lihat pada diagram yang ada dekat sini. Of course yang paling atas kita ada policy. Uh, normally this policy um, dia yang kata being set up by the senior management yang berada dalam organisation. Under this policy kita ada standard where this standard uh, include all the practices, guideline on also procedure yang have to be uh, yang perlu dilakukan the, the operational process dan sebagainya yang akan happen di dalam sesebuah organisasi. Perlu ke penting ke di security policy? Of course, good IT security prevents unauthorized disclosure, uh, disruption, loss and access, use of modification of an organization information asset. So it is important to keep the principles of confidentiality, uh, confidentiality, integrity and ability in mind when developing corporate information security uh, policy. So types of information security policy. So based on the list, which is the National Institute of Standard and Technology, uh, special publication, the three types of information security policy. Yang pertama, Uh, <clears throat> the Enterprise Information Security Policy uh, Security Program Policy Issue Specific Security Policy and System Specific Security uh, Policy uh, Tiga benda ni ataupun tiga jenis ni akan dilihat So the usual procedure first creation of the Enterprise Information Security Policy the highest level of the policy Next, the general policy are met by developing issues and also uh, system specific policy. So under EISP, it is set the strategic direction, scope and tone for all of an organization's security effort. So EISP assign responsibility for the various area of the information security including maintain, maintenance of the information security policy and the practices and also responsibility of other user. This EISP also guides the development, implementation and management requirement of the information security uh, program. So this ERSP should directly support the mission and vision of the statement that is set by the organization.
Okay, dia memang, you kena, the, the policy being set up tu dia perlu selari dengan mission and objective in the uh, enterprise information security policy. So, the elements yang available under EISP adalah an overview of the corporate philosophy and security, information on the structure of the information security organization and individual who fulfill the information security role, uh, full articulate responsibility for security that they are shared by all members of the organization, Uh, fully articulate uh, responsibilities for security that are unique to each role within the organization. Okay. Okay, the component of this uh, EISP, uh, of course lah, you kena dekat dalam the policy being set up tu, you kena ada statement of the purpose lah what is the policy for and then you need to know what are the information technology security element yang uh, ada you, so you need to define the information uh, security you need uh, for information technology security uh, and then justify dia punya keperluan you need to define the organizational structure you need to put the reference and also guidelines So, a good EISP must have the statement of purpose. Must have the information technology security element need for information technology security and information technology security responsibilities and also rules. Uh, and, of course, consists of the reference to other information technology standard and also guideline. Okay, yang kedua tadi ialah issue. Issue specific security policy. So, this uh, IASP provides a common understanding of the purpose for which an employee can and cannot use a technology, should not be presented as a foundation for legal prosecution, uh, must protect uh, the both of the employee and also organization from inefficiency and also ambiguity, and the effective of IASP articulate expectation for use of technology based system uh, and then identify the process and also authorities that provide the document uh, documented control and uh, individifies the uh, organization against liability for any employees in appropriate or illegal use of the system So, these are the topics under the ISSP, uh, use of internet, regarding the email, phone, office equipment, incident response, disasters, business continuity planning, uh, and so on. Okay, this is the other component yang perlu ada tadi, yang kita discuss, what are the things that must have inside the policy. So, three common approaches for creating, managing this ISSP. Yang pertama ialah create individual independent ISSP documents tailored for specific issues. Uh, you demand, must cater what are the issues yang trigger ataupun uh, uh, occur. And then create a single ISSP document covering all the issues. And the third one is create a modular ISP document unifying overall policy creation, uh, management while addressing specific detail with respect to individual issues. Okay, kemudian kita ada system specific security policy. Okay, ataupun uh, size SPS. Okay. Provide guideline, uh, guidance and also procedure for configuring specific system, technology and also application. Uh, this one uh, termasuklah intuition the detection of the system about the firewall configuration uh, related to the uh, workstation configuration. Uh, system uh, and then the system specific security policy most or are most often technical in nature but can also be managerial. So, they're guiding the technology application to enforce higher level policy. So, guideline for effective policy developed using industry accepted practices. 
Okay, and then distributed using all the appropriate methods. Review or read by all the employees. Uh, policy diguna pakai sebelum tu, you perlu baca dan fahamkan. Understood, you perlu faham apa yang tertulis, being written. Formally agreed, you kena agree uh, to by act or as a exception. And then uniformly apply and enforce. Developing information security policy, of course lah, okay, dia, this is the normal uh, steps yang selalu kita akan uh, imply, apa, apply. Um, contohnya, we need to we need to have the investigation phase. Dan lepas you investigate, you akan analyze. Selepas tu kita akan design and also the implementation phase. And also uh, maintenance phase is the last um, one. Okay, under this investigation phase, uh, it must be support from the senior management, okay, support and active involvement and also IT management, clear articulation of goals, participate by the affected communities of interest, Bila, bila, bila you nak investigate kan, mestilah dalam within the surround the scope yang orang kata whoever objective yang terlibat. Detail outline of the scope of the policy development project. Under the analysis phase, the analysis phase should produce the following. A new or recent risk assessment or IT audit documenting the information security needs of the organization. Gathering. Uh, of key reference material including any existing policy that is for the analysis phase and then we have design phase user or organization members acknowledge that they have received and read the policy uh, signature and date on a form, banner screen with a warning. So you must, the, the user mesti, yang kata, faham the, the, the situation. And then uh, within the implementation phase, so policy development team writes the policy, okay, resources there, of course lah, from the uh, surround yang orang kata, yang, yang terlibat. And then at the maintenance phase, the policy development team responsible for monitoring maintaining and also modifying the policy. And then we go, then uh, you can happen at the level of the policy distribution. You will hand policy to the employees, post the policy on a public bulletin board, email, intranet, document management system. This is about the, okay. Uh, policy comprehension ni biasalah language, understanding of the issues, you, you need to understand lah. Policy compliance, okay. Uh. Visual policy center architecture. Okay, kat sini you all boleh lihat lah the, 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 the process berkenaan dengan contohnya company intranet ada orang kata ada ada the administration site administrator receive the policy document and visas selepas tu all this administration site dia akan uh, the administrator itself akan publish the policy document and visas so under the this the, the server sends the publish policy uh, publish policy do documents and visas to the server for distribution to the user site Jadi dia akan kembali semula pada company intranet, dia akan pergi pada user view policies. Maknanya the, the, the end user akan ataupun user site yang mereka akan melihat, mereka akan membaca, user read the policy document and complete the uh, soalan dan ataupun user dan hantar semula ke uh, kata server tersebut and user information to the company in Intranet dia akan pergi semula pada company intranet, dia akan pergi semula dia, dia, dia pusingan tu orang kata akan sentiasa berlaku. So policy management involve the policy administrator, uh, review the schedule, review procedures and also practices, policy and uh, revision date.
Okay. Hmm. Review shadows. Normally kita akan buat secara periodically. Uh, depends pada currency and also uh, kata situation and also issues, the current issues yang happen. So dia guna, dia, normally dia akan organize schedule of review, uh, review at least annually ataupun uh, sources input from the representative of all uh, affected parties, management and also staff. So review procedures and practices ni mudahlah easy submission of the recommendation. All comments uh, akan disemak. Management approve the changes of the implement uh, implemented. Jadi setiap policy ni akan often publish without date. Legal issue are uh, employees. Okay, these are the process yang perlu di uh, aturkan uh, in order for them to uh, memperakui the policy yang mereka gunakan. So information security policy make each uh, easy approach. You gather, you develop, you prepare, you make and structure. Gather key reference material, develop a framework for policy, prepare a coverage matrix, make critical system design decision and structure a review approval and enforcement process. So the information security policy made easy approach uh, by the next step, policy, post policy, develop a self-assessment questionnaire. Uh, this are uh, the step-step yang dibuat apabila uh, information security policy uh, being uh, de-enforced de dalam uh, sesebuah tempat. Kenapa ya? What is information security? So this information security actually is the sum of the people. Dia melibatkan people, process and also technology implemented within an organization to protect information asset within the, that organization. It also prevent unauthorized disclosure, disruption, access, use, modification and etc. Uh, sebab dia sekarang ni apa, ramai yang orang kata mempunyai pelbagai kebolehan dan sebagainya, we need to avoid those things. That is why <coughs> information security to needed. There are three principles of information security yang normally memang akan ada uh, in the primary tenant ni called the CIA triad, called which is kita ada confidentiality, uh, kita ada integrity and also availability. Confidentiality ialah melibatkan the protection of information against unauthorized disclosure. Integrity is the protection of uh, information against unauthorized modification and ensuring the authenticity, accuracy and also non-reputation and completeness of the information. And the last one is the availability, the protection of information against unauthorized destruction and ensuring data is accessible when needed. <coughs> Kenapa dia penting? Without this information security and organizations, information asset including any intellectual property are uh, susceptible to compromise or theft. Ataupun dia, dia, dia dicuri. Yeah. As a result, consumer and shareholder confidence and reputation suffer potentially to the point of ruining the company altogether. So it is important to keep the principle of the CIA triad in mind when developing corporate information security policy. Uh, kenapa kita nak, why do we need an information security policy? Setelah you all dah tengok kat sini ada step dia, ada kita dah, dah, dah develop, kita dah set up, we, we construct the, the questionnaire, the quizzes, lepas tu ada self-assessment pula, the user need to comply, you need to read, baca, fahamkan, sign and hantar. Because this information security policies define what is required of an organization employees from a security perspective. And then information security policy reflect the risk appetite 
of an organization management and should reflect the managerial mindset when it comes to security. Okay, sebab dia involve the behavior of the management. And then, yang ketiga ialah information security policy provide direction upon which a control framework can be built to secure the organization against external and also internal threats. Okay. And then, uh, information security policy are a mechanism to support an organization legal and also ethical responsibility. And yang kelima ialah information security policy are mechanism to hold individuals accountability for compliance with expected behavior with regards to information security. So information security policy made easy approach, okay? Dia ada assign information security coordinators. Kita ada train information security coordinators. Prepare and then deliver a basic information security training course. Develop application specific information security policy. So the next steps, you develop a conceptual hierarchy of information security requirement. Assign an information ownership and also custodianship and then establish and information security management committee. Uh, ini perlu ada. Those people who are taking care of this. And then information, the next one is develop an information security architecture document. Must be documented, automate uh, policy enforcement through policy server. So policy are countermeasure to protect asset from threats. Uh, dia boleh diukur. Okay. Uh, kita nak lihat sama ada adakah polisi yang diwujudkan yang telah diimplementasikan ni uh, membantu uh, mengurangkan orang kata threat yang berlaku. So all this um, being, uh, boleh di uh, ukur. And then policy exists to inform employees of acceptable and acceptable behaviour. Jadi penggut per per pekerja, you all punya uh, employees ni tahu apa yang boleh dan tak boleh dilakukan. A man to improve employee productivity and prevent the potentially uh, embarrassing situation. And then, and it is also to communicate the penalties for the non-compliance. Ini sangat penting because once you not obey with all the policy, akan ada penalties or charges yang akan dikenakan. So basically this is uh, the orang kata dia punya ni lah. Kita ada information security policy. Uh, mesti ada dia punya standard policy yang telah yang boleh di counter measure kan. And then information security tu must be in a written uh, protocol. Okay. So normally, this information security policy inclusions consists of the access control, identification, authentication, uh, including multi-factors authentication and also password, data classification, encryption, uh, the remote access. You all, kalau bagi IT, you tak boleh simply book up certain-certain port tu untuk digunakan oleh to be accessed. Kalau nak digunakan pun, you must do uh, and no kata temu janji, must follow all the procedure, even you nak masuk ke bilik server pun, it's not orang kata just walk in sahaja, tetapi you need to do, to, to set the appointment with those who are taking care of that as a server room. And then acceptable use, patching, manage um, CS code protection, physical security, backup, uh, server security, employees and uh, boarding and also change management. So what should you keep in your mind when you are writing an information security policy? Okay, uh, ni akan ada untuk kita punya next punya topik, tak silap saya. Developing, oh, this one is developing the security uh, program. Okay, apa yang perlu ada in our mind when we are writing an information security policy? Yang pertama, you need to understand the rule. 
of security policy in your organization. Okay. Yang kedua is enforceability. Uh, ensure your security policy are enforceable. Maknanya benda tu possible untuk dilakukan. Kemudian is exceptions. Explain how policy exception are handled. Okay and then brevity. Apa benda brevity ni? Make your security policy brief and uh, uh, succinct. Itu ataupun uh, brief lah in brief. Make your security policy tu uh, ringkas. Mudah difahami, mudah untuk diaplikasikan. Security policy should not include everything but the kitchen sink. Okay, supporting procedure, baseline and guideline can fill in the how and when of your policy. So, each policy should address a specific topic. For example, acceptable use, access control. So, it will make things easier to manage and also maintain. Okay, in order for that, kita need to know the risk. What is important to keep security policy current because kita nak avoid apa uh, kata uh, risiko lah. Alright. That's all for today. Uh, saya akan sambung dengan uh, the, for the next topic saya akan sambung dengan um, sekejap, ya, dengan another topic related to the information system uh, security But they want to sambung dalam another uh, video. Okay, class. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.